Welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. We are in my living room today. I wanted to change up the scene. It'll probably be a little chaotic because I got Hank right here. I have Momo right here. I have my son right here. So you guys know how uh, these halls yeah, work. So I have realized, and bear with me here, listen, um, with my hauls, I do them on my craft table and I have to sit my phone on my table. So I realize there's been a lot of banging, but there's only so much I can do. I record with my cell phone and um, if I do them out here all the time, we are going to be interrupted a million times. So please trust me when I say I'm working on it and I am truly trying my best to uh, give you guys good hauls that aren't distracting and with a bunch of noise, but um, it, it's all I can do right now and I can't make everybody happy unfortunately because a lot of you didn't like the hauls out here because my dogs and all that stuff and then people are saying they don't like the hauls when there's banging, so I don't know you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Uh, let's go ahead and just get into this haul. Hopefully the lighting works for you guys. So, um, I have three craft items, which is really sad. My Dollar Trees have not stocked up on like their crafters square section at all. I haven't seen any of the new stuff that people are hauling. Um, I do have a few items. So I got uh, shower curtain rings. I got these because I have an idea for a project. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but um, I saw these and was like, eh, let, let's get them and see what happens. So I got that and then Everett's gonna show you. I finally found the tubs. I also got the, uh, they finally got the tubs at mine. I've never seen these before at my Dollar Trees. And they also got the plastic toilets that, that match this. So I got these because eventually I do want to start working on some bathroom DIYs for the kids bathroom. So look out, they're coming back. All right. And then what's awesome. Yes, we found the little trio. Now these are a dollar each. They don't come in a stack of three. Um, and they match perfectly with Remember the frames that came out that looked very similar to this? They even had the um, gold pieces on here. And what's nice, you can recycle the little gold label pieces and reuse them on other projects. So you have this size. I should have brought my ruler. Um, here is that size, just so you can see. Oh, sorry, baby. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah and then the smaller size. This one looks really weird, like it has like water or something spilt inside there. But if you can see, I'm gonna try. That would be the medium one, yep. Let me see, wait. Maybe doing them back to back so you could see the different pipes there. That's the piece. Yeah, so I got a couple sets of these. I think these would be great just for everyday home decor, not even DIYing them. And I think they would look great as a like mini, like when I say mini, mini tiered tray. So that was all I found for craft items. Go ahead, show them that, honey. He got Harley Quinn at Dollar General this weekend. Um, okay, so I guess I'll go with like some randomness. Um, in the kids section, they brought out these unicorn dolls and these are the like mystery packs so you don't know what you're gonna get kids love 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 these my son and my daughter could like go through these like nobody's business they are great for you know like upcoming birthdays upcoming holidays when you find things like these stock up on them because surprisingly even though they're small and tiny they are expensive they could be up to like five dollars or more at walmart so when you see them and they're so cute look at try not to get that shiny all the different characters that you can get everly did open one and she got two two yeah she got kate which is the, the rainbow, rainbow one, on 
Yeah. Yeah. So well, we, we got, got two of them. Yeah, we got quite a few of those to put away. Momo, why do you keep bothering me, honey? I don't and know. And then something I found that I thought was absolutely awesome. Everly is in kindergarten right now. They're going over sight <laughs> words currently. Uh, did I say currently? I don't want. Um, Anyways, stop, Momo. Um, I found this sight words bingo and i thought that was really cool and this was with the it wasn't with like the educational school stuff it was with the um like the kids toys and all of that hanging up and it says momo stop it honey it keeps licking me my name no i use this for the momo slime okay i didn't know that um, so this is two games in one, and it's four double-sided bingo cards, one spinner, and 36 markers, and it's actually cool. So the spinner part has sight words on them, and then you have to find them. So I thought that was really cool, especially because that's really what we're focused on right now. We're not doing that one yet, honey. Here, show them this one. Put it. Okay, I finally found, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but I've seen them in a bunch of hauls, the magnets that say like his, hers, or his turn, her turn. <clears throat> that I got. Man, I, I swear I'm missing stuff, you guys. I'll probably find it later. Maybe I'm missing another bag. Um, Cause I could have sworn I got this one. So it says dirty and clean, great for the dishwasher or even these can stick on your like washer and dryer, which would be great. I mean, obviously, you know, if it's dirty or clean, right? Yeah, because the washer cleans it. Mm, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Okay. I think these would be great and it's super cute. I but know mommy, I grabbed what? This looks like mud, like mud. Yeah. So I'll put that over huh. here. I thought I grabbed the other ones because I did see it says like his turn, her turn, and it's in a black and white. I really liked that one. Oh, and then sorry, you guys, I forgot this. Here, you want to hold it? Oh, is this glass? Yeah, it's glass. So I found this. It was actually with the Mother's Day stuff, and there was only two of them left. I thought, wow, that is so beautiful, especially if y'all are into like shabby chic decor. This would look gorgeous, and of course, gorgeous to DIY, or if you do, um, ooh, that's a good hold on that. So I found those. I love the color of it, that like yellowish. I wish the top matched though. It's weird that the top is like a clear, and then this is that yellowy iridescent color. So I did get that. Okay, uh, randomness. This was also in the Mother's Day section and I just thought they were too gorgeous not to get. Like this screams you need to make a spa pack for your mom or your sister or something. I am like, oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous those are. Aren't they so beautiful? These are Ombre Rose Bath Sponge. They are from Dollar Tree by Dollar Tree. But the detail in those is so beautiful. And I can see these easily in a gift basket, in a present. Um, you could even buy these and make, I know it sounds crazy, but I mean like, yeah, they feel great, huh? A little girl or something. No, I mean, these are pretty huge, but I mean, or like have a Kentucky Derby party and then make a hat out of these. I don't know, they have a nice flat base so they can actually be used for other things. I don't know why I'm seeing it as like a hair piece, but thought these were gorgeous and decided hey, to pick them up. I yeah, really thank you. You're doing well organizing. Um, Let me see, books, no, not, oh, here they are. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> they were hiding and I lied, it's not in black and white. So his turn is in dark blue, white, and gray, and, and then turn it. Pink. And then pink, her turn, is in pink, black, and gray. And my, what does this say? So this one says, so show them this side. Did my chores today, I'll do it tomorrow. So this one would be great for the fridge. 
And then of course, this one could be good too for the washer dryer or the dishwasher, or you can like stick it on, you know, the front of the stove in the morning so that like you guys know, like, okay, it's his turn to cook. It's her turn to cook. So I thought that was fun. And then I found this. Now I've seen this before, advanced coloring etching vintage style illustrations. And when I saw vintage style illustrations, I was like, I am gonna pick that up and look at it. Now this is from, it's actually made in Ohio, which is kind of crazy, Benden. And let me show you, I don't know, just the, I love the, look at how beautiful that is. Even just to take these out and frame them as is for art pieces, like that honey one got me. That's what got me. me look too. at that. If you guys are doing oh. B, you can yeah. simply color that in. You could leave it black and white. Hey, um, you didn't notice I saw a B in that honey. You saw a B in that honey? Yeah, bees love honey. No, I didn't see a bee in The fox. Jeez, it would be nice if I could turn the pages. Let me see I just, how pretty uh, that one is. Hey, mom, I didn't know what my favorite animal is. What's your favorite animal? Foxes. Foxes? Because yeah. what does the fox say? Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, so I thought that was really beautiful. If you're into coloring, this would be awesome. And then even if you just want to frame some of those as art, I think it would be gorgeous. Uh, Book-wise, I found two books. My Dollar Trees are not known for their books whatsoever. I don't find many books at my Dollar Trees. But um, I wonder what tag that's from. I found this beautiful book. And it is a Commemorative Life Remembering Liz. And one, the cover of her is stunning. I mean, it's so beautiful. This would be a great coffee table book. Then it has that on the back. It says it was originally, I don't know where this tag is from. Do you guys see that? I don't know where that tag's from, but it says originally 1995. We're gonna do those in a minute, baby. I still have to show them this book. And well, it says, yeah, 1995 in the cover. It's just a plain white, if that's something that you're into. And let me see. Yeah, it just has beautiful, I'm just gonna kind of hold on babe pictures of her it's about her life what a beautiful woman so I mean, we're never gonna really get these one i always try them what this one right here yeah okay so i found that book and then i actually grabbed this second book for my husband so um definitely keep an eye out maybe for father's day or something if your husband's, dad's, grandfathers are into this stuff, I actually saw the authors were Jen, John Meekum and Tim McGraw. So that's what caught my attention was Tim McGraw. And it says Songs of America, and it says Patriot, Patriotism, Protest, and the Music That Made a Nation. And I thought this was, let me see. Can I see the price on here? Everett, can you stop tossing those around? Honey, people can hear that. Uh, no, that's just the ISBN number. Oh, originally $30. And let me just take this off real quick, just so I can easily. So that's what the, the cover looks exactly the same. And just look at the first page. And then it just goes over like the history of music. I've read like a couple pages. It was very interesting. Um, so I think this would be really cool if you were to like give your dad or somebody like this and some barbecue stuff and you know, I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. I knew John would totally dig it. So I picked that up and for a dollar when it was originally 30. Yes, please. Okay, Ever wants to show you, we found three more Mother's Day cards. So I'm kind of still categorizing it. It just seems a little bit more messy for some reason, I don't know. All right, Ever, not those, just put those aside. We already showed them. So I found more Mother's Day cards. The first time I didn't see any, um, sorry, my hair is bothering me on my neck. 
grandma cards, really. This one says for a special grandma on Mother's Day. Love the design of the like teapot. And then a simple saying, sending you my love today and always. So it was nice because I think I only saw one grandma one the previous time. And next we have these. I love this one. And I love it because, like I said, a lot of them last time, if you remember my haul, I'll attach it down in the link. Um, I couldn't find any that were really like not for like a... I wanted to get some for my friends. I ended up getting ones that said sister on them because I couldn't find any that weren't like you're my mom specific, you know? So it says being a mom isn't easy, but you share, but you sure make it look that way. Wishing you a beautiful uh, day. So I can, yeah, I see you. I thought that was really pretty and definitely more like, I'm going to give this to like my best friend, even the, the feel for like my age and stuff I felt was very appropriate. So I liked that one. Then I found this one, which was beautiful. I might, we might, I might give this one to my mom. Strong, loving, smart, and beautiful. Is that kind of like a, no, I don't know. It almost looks like the card is like textured, but it's not. And it says, there are so many reasons I'm so glad you're mine. I hope your day is as special as you are to me. Happy Mother's Day. So I thought those were really cute. I wanted to show you. We do send cards to everybody back in California. Um, so like our grandmas, their aunts, um, we aunts, you know, like your, your aunt. Mm -hmm. No, not aunts in the house. Um, so yeah, we, we send them out and then I give them to my girlfriends and things like that and friends. So got that. Okay. Next is we're going to kind of go into kitchen cleaning and outdoors where like I hit the jackpot. Okay. So my girlfriend, Lisa Christopher, she actually found these and picked me up too, but I saw them at my Dollar Tree. So I picked one up for myself because we are supposed to be going to the lake this summer. And I thought these would be so fun for all the girls to have. It's like water. Oops, sorry, itchy eye. Um, but these, these ginormous ice cream cone like drinks. Like, have you guys seen the massive, it's like, um, what? It, stop that baby, you could hear all that crinkle. The, what do you call it? At like 7-Eleven, the like super golf or whatever. That's what the new like cups remind me of. They are, look at this. They're ginormous. They're and bigger than your head. I know. I told John, this is going to be my margarita cup. So you better watch out. But, okay, let me show them. But I mean, this thing, I wish it would say how much you can fit in here. But hand wash only. Stop, baby. And it's considered a tumbler, but it comes in pink and it comes in white. And I just thought these were so, so much fun. Even if you bought them for the kids and just filled up like the bottom half of them, it would be adorable. And they're definitely coming out with a like ice cream theme <coughs> because they had these adorable napkins. And I think it was this green, a pink and something else. You want to hold it up? Yeah, the ice cream, and then it has like the uh, toppings on it. <laughs> Everett's trying to eat it. And these are so cute. I didn't get all the colors, um, but this comes with 16 in them. And you know what? Hold on, baby. 16 in them, and it actually reminds me when you open it up of like a flower, or it could be like a really cool design. I don't know. That's the crafter in me, always, always thinking about using it for more than its purpose. Baby, your head is right here. Um, so yeah, they have these in tons of different colors. So check these out. I definitely think that ice cream is going to be like a vibe or a theme that they're going to come out with. So really excited for that. Oh, sorry. I know you're organizing. Now I grabbed, I actually grabbed these for crafting, uh, four ice cream bowls and four spoons. And I really loved the shape of them. And I see this for coastal decor. I mean, you can definitely see, like it almost looks like a seashell. So I that's why I grabbed it. Of course, these are great for actual summer events and ice cream or shaved ice 
or like even if you're doing like little appetizers like imagine putting um like a like a bean dip in here so people especially like right now you don't want like everybody all up in the cookie jar so it'll be nice to make individual like servings of stuff i'm way too lazy for that so if you're coming over my house you're eating out of the bowl sorry um and i picked these up because I was actually, we um, use paper plates when we're kind of like on the go or we need something fast or, you know. And so I picked these up. We used to use these when we were kids. Um, don't baby, that'll make people sick. Um, so I grabbed two packs of these. They come in a pack of four. This was in their summer section, right when you walked into the store with like all of their summer kitchen stuff. And I believe it came in like red, this color, maybe pink, but I grabbed these for summertime because we're always outside during the summer. We bring the paper plates out there and this will be a great way for like barbecuing and all that stuff. So I grabbed them when I saw them. Uh, they could also be used for DIYs. Do you want to set those in your organization? Randomness found a, I, I can't say I've actually ever tried this either. Uh, this is called Senorita. It says limited edition mega slicks balm stain moisturizing lip color let me see if i could open it up and i will try it on no 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 don't do it okay they have to make these like booby trapped okay okay come on these are the things i should think ahead of when i'm doing these uh hauls is to like open okay well we're not gonna try because i feel like i'll be here for a minute but it's this color it seems like it's going to be more like a, a lip balm than a lipstick so it just says it hydrates i don't know okay so there's that oh. and oh, daddy's calling he's gonna have to wait all right so cleaning supplies kind of i guess this i found these oh, this one's bent oh well so these are the wizard sprays. I've never used these before. Um, wizard, the magic of fresh. And it says environment friendly, Hawaiian retreats and what's wrong? What's wrong? And morning mist. Now I usually use Scentsy. I like wax melts, um, but there are some rooms like his room. I don't put one in because I don't want him to knock it over um and then areas that are just like bigger in the home so let's i'm trying i think i it smells really good <sighs> it smells good okay it has a good mist but you can definitely hear every like all of it dropping down into onto the bags so i don't think it's something that's going to stay in the air don't do it. Okay, here. Okay, you're gonna get that all over your hands, baby. Which one do you like better? Here, I need you to scoot back, honey, because your head's right there. You like this one? Everett likes this one better. I think they both smell pretty good, but these are great for bathrooms, and I like that they're not, uh, that they're like appeasing to the eye, and um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Finally, I found these, Thrifty Tiffany hauled them on one of her videos and I was thinking, oh my gosh, those look so high end and I love LA's Totally Awesome. So it's kind of a win-win. Not that anybody looks at my cleaning supplies, but you know, you know, I mean, you just, sometimes we just it's like so pretty beautiful. things. It is so beautiful, huh? Yeah. So they have the, so it's Ellie's Totally Awesome. You guys saw me haul on my last one. I used the one spray, don't you dare. Um, and this one is Daily Shower Works on Contact, actually puts cleaning power into plain old water. So this is in fresh scent. It says you could do shower, tub, sink, and containers. Now, I, one, I said, packaging is beautiful. And I love the other LA's Totally Awesome that I use that I'm like, this is probably gonna work great. And you get 32 fluid ounces in there. Like these are huge like containers. And this one's bathroom cleaner, soap scum, mold, and mildew remover actually puts cleaning powder, 
power into plain old water. This is also fresh scents. Yeah, so, and this one says shower, tubs, sinks, and counters as well. So this is for, I mean, well, that's weird. Because I guess you can use, you could use them both on the same things because that's what they're both saying. Shower, tub, sink, and counters. I think this is one you would just kind of like leave in the shower and then this one you would clean everything with. So I found those and I was really excited because they just look fancy. So, I mean, who doesn't want fancy cleaning supplies? Oh, what, baby, your yep. head's in front? Yep. yep, that's because that's where you hit your face yesterday. Okay, I saw somebody, I can't remember who hauled these. I, I cannot remember for the life of me. And they're not new at all, but they're moisture eliminators. And I thought these would be great for in my laundry room and then underneath the sink in our kitchen. And so this one, it traps excess moisture, eliminates tough odor, and prevents water damage. Mine, yes. there's two black things in there. Yes. So this, I guess, is supposed to catch it and the moisture actually drops down to the bottom. Um, so, gosh, I wish I could remember who hauled these, but I cannot. So I was like, oh, I want to give them a try. Well, then I saw there's two different kinds. This one's actually heavier. And this one um, is moisture eliminator with charcoal. They say they both do the same exact thing, except this one has charcoal. So I don't know what the charcoal does differently. So grab those to try out. Why is it not showing the spray wash? I don't know. So I'll let you know how those go. Okay, let's keep going. So like I said, I hit the jackpot when it came to outdoor items. So for some florals, <clears throat> here, I found these are considered sunflowers right here. And I love when they come out with these versions of the sunflowers because the middle is done so well. If you go to Walmart and look at their sunflowers, they look very, very similar. And they come with like one, two, three, five of them in here. So they are smaller, but beautiful. And then I finally found the peonies, <clears throat> excuse me. And mine did have a bunch of colors. And I know everybody's been going wild about these, but a lot of mine just look so like, torn apart i guess that um i grabbed the best one just to show y'all but they had like turquoise purple pinks they had so many of them so i grabbed that we'll do that after our stuff found the tiki torches these go so fast at dollar tree so get them when you see them they do come in different colors on the top they have like the bamboo steak on the bottom and what's nice about these is they sell the fluid there. So this one is Lua Time Centronella Scented Torch Fuel. And I picked up four of these because like I said, you guys, you guys know once, once it's gone, it's gone. <clears throat> yes, I'm done showing that. All right, and then I, I kind of put this with food items, or sorry, the outside, because food tents, I grabbed the uh, blue one. This one has seashells, and then this one looks like it has like uh, watermelons, lemons, other things on there, but they look to be a pretty decent size, and I thought they would be great for summertime. And they have them in like two other colors as well, I believe. <clears throat> Jeez Louise. <clears throat> All right, then I found the big babies. So we're going to be doing a patio, um, uh, patio makeover on my other channel, Crafting a Healthy Life. And I grabbed two for something to like make out there and then two for actual planting. Uh, so grab these, they have this color and then they, hold on babe. And then they have the terracotta looking color as well. So I grabbed the gray. I thought they were neutral, easier to paint. And then you guys check out these. You can leave them in there, honey. They all kind of go together. Hello. I didn't even know 
these were at Dollar Tree until I saw them. Like, I don't even believe I saw anybody haul them um, yet anyways. So they come in four different designs. So you have these two guys, Welcome and America. Now, I will say, watch out when you get these little guys because if you can see, like the image isn't on them all the way on all of them. So like some of them, the like eyes were like out of their little, you know what I'm saying? Like raised places where the face should be. So just keep an eye out for that. So I grabbed a couple of these cause one, I think it'll be so cute for 4th of July in my planters and the red and blue ones I picked up last week and to do crafts with, of course. And I cooked him. <clears throat> and then look at how adorable these guys are. Like, ee, so cute. Look at this one holding the heart. That's probably my favorite. And he's Cute. so happy. And then we have this guy right here. And uh, I love how his, like, it even has the detail of his little beard going all the way down, holding the American flag. But these were so cute. And I have not seen these before. So I grabbed those. It's to go on the tiki torches. And then, you guys, like I've said, I saw these, what, three weeks ago or something? Um, and my Dollar Tree just got them in. So just because you don't see it now doesn't mean your Dollar Tree won't get them in. So keep looking. I just, just found these last week. So I grabbed quite a few of them because um, one, planters, and then two, I think maybe some shelving. Haven't decided yet, but I so I grabbed a few of these, huh? I I'm sh done showing that, yeah. Okay, good Hey, will you grab me the yellow bag that's over there? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so now I have a couple food items. Ooh, we're, I thought this was gonna be a, a shorter haul. My hauls are never short, why? Why do I even think that, right? Okay, and you guys, I'm gonna show you before I get into the food. <laughs> he already said it, but we went to Dollar General this week. I have to show, oh my gosh. Okay, one, I'll show you just some simple things. So I found this adorable bee flag. So if you guys are doing bee decor this summer, this was $1.50. Here, I'll go ahead and open it up. <clears throat> It's super light, just like the ones at Dollar Tree, but that is really pretty. I love that, and this could easily, easily be DIY. That's why I personally got it, in case I do want to do bee decor. Okay, thank you. Uh, grabbed these. These were only a dollar each, the cement with the faux succulent. Oh, of course I, oh. That's okay. I'll just re-glue that one. So this one just says flowers. Hold on, buddy. This one says welcome. And I thought these would be super cute just for like little shelf fillers. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat. I found this. And these, you guys, are a dollar, a dollar. And these would be so cute because you can make your own signs with them so easily. Tiered trays. I mean, you could even turn this into a Christmas tree ornament. There's so many possibilities with these little pieces like this. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. Like, look at how thick they are. I love that. And then, oh baby, we're gonna get these all hairy with Pink's hair. And then the show stoppers. Look at, you gotta hold it up a little higher. Look at, show that one, baby. Oh wait, I think I got, <laughs> I got two because I'm going to do a future giveaway. So stay tuned. Did you got two of these? I did because one we're going to give away at some point. But just to show you, I mean, look at how cute that guy is. And then his little like top is actually wired. So you can actually bend his hat however you want. These were $3.50 each. And then you have this little Uncle Sam guy. And I love that these have little hands to them. They have the like sands and then the cushion. And I just thought these were so well done, especially because this weekend we went to TJ Maxx and like Home Goods, and Ray Dunn had so many like glass pieces out that looked so similar to these. So 350, you guys. 350! 
uh, each. Yeah, I these are so gorgeous. So I found I those were my. This one. I did show that one. Wait. So those were my finds. Okay, let's get into food real quick. If you guys are into watching hauls, which I'm sure you are if you're on my channel, um, you will notice, you want to show that, that everybody is hauling cereal. So um, Dollar Tree comes in waves with their products. Cereal is one of them. They are coming back out with name brand cereal. This one is the Fruity Lucky Charms. I picked up two of these. Probably should have picked up more if I had room. Um, but they are coming out. I mean, if you guys are watching the hauls, you have seen all of the different brands. Thrifty Tiffany hauled some, Crafty Girl hauled some, um, Only In My Dreams. All of those people have been hauling cereal and I was so happy that I found them. They're regular size boxes. So go and look or call ahead. I love to call ahead when I'm looking for specific things so that I don't waste my time driving from store to store. Okay, things to, or I'm not gonna try these, but croutons, a great buy at Dollar Tree. These are cheese and sesame croutons. All right, then we're gonna try, okay, you guys, you know, we already showed those baby a long time ago. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Um, so sorry, my legs are hurting. I need to hurry up. This is gonna be like now. Okay, babe. Okay, then show them. Um, so the raspberry wafers, we picked up these vanilla ones. And let me tell you, sorry, we already destroyed the package. They're in here. These are not as light as the raspberry ones. These are, I want to say more decadent, more, I want to say like frosting kind of taste to them. They're definitely not like a light wafer cookie, even though they say so, they are definitely like rich in flavor. So we got that. We tried these Tahine peach rings, which were amazing. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying. Gosh, this is going to be so. I grabbed these lemon flavored shortbread cookies. And I've seen these quite a few times. And I'm like, girl wants to try. It. Sorry, my hauls are so long, you guys. But I don't, I can't break them up because. I mean, I only do them once a week. So I have to fit in everything I find into one instead of breaking them up into sections. So. Mm. These are really good. They are very light. Do you like them? Yeah, they're super light, but you still get that lemon in there. Oh, I really like those. These are just European cookies, lemon flavored shortbread. Mm. Mm. If you're a lemon lover, I think you'll like those. Okay. Mm. Nice. Found this orange and strawberry sunny D, 100% vitamin C. Got that for Everett. He likes that kind of stuff. Then I grabbed these crispy coconut rolls no. i have no idea oh they're no. little they don't have anything in them no. okay so what baby I'm not, I think I'm gonna get okay she's gonna have to wait so this is what they look like there's nothing i don't know what these are supposed to be They're super light. They're just like a light, not not a wafer, but like a light crisp. It just says crispy coconut rolls plus roasted black sesame seeds made with real coconut milk. Light, crisp, and made with delicious natural ingredients. Each roll is a tropical bliss. So I actually like these because if you're trying to watch what you are eating, um, like a serving size, two servings per container is uh, 144 and there's kind of a lot in here so if you're somebody that's just like watching um, uh what you are eating um what yes baby um then these are nice to kind of just snack on and not feel like you're over indulging at all because there's enough sweetness in there you want to try mm -hmm. mama chill out girl 
Mm. Next, these look really good. These are Greta crackers with olive and oregano. Doesn't expect, no, no, seriously? She's a cookie fiend. John got her on that. Okay, let's try these. These look like, oh, look at how fancy. They come in these like individual, these would be great if you're eating soup or something. One, two, three, four, five crackers in each pack. They look like saltines. No. Oh, you could smell that oregano. There's like sea salt. <laughs> Go ahead. No, don't eat this. Mm. I can move eat this. I don't know if it's because I had the sweets before I had this, but I'm not digging this. I can move eat this in it. No, babe. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it's the sweetness. Let me know if you've tried these down below and if you like them. I'll have to try them again, but I don't know. And I like oregano. I love olive oil, um, but I don't know what your taste from. You guys told me to try the Hint drink. So I like this one's black raspberry. It says um, non-GMO plants and natural caffeine from coffee beans. Ingredients, purified water, natural flavors, and natural caffeine from coffee beans. And it has 60 milligrams of caffeine, zero calories, and zero sweeteners, which is amazing. It's just water. It has literally the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest hint of the black raspberry it tastes like if when you put like fruit in water you know like in your water bottle and drink it that's what it tastes like to me uh but i don't know i don't think i would like necessarily like go out and and buy this again uh if i was around it i might like grab one but yeah it just tastes like water to me i might as well walmart sells um caffeine water and it comes in a bigger jug and it's like 120 milligrams of caffeine so i actually prefer that over like the what little hints. so you guys that is it for this haul another long 45 minute one if you are still here with me comment down with a heart emoji thank you for always joining me on these long hauls um if you guys like smaller hauls let me know because maybe i can uh, break them up and do some on my other channel versus this one. Uh, but I personally love bigger hauls. So Wait, Mom, but you did that's just that me. One. Yes, I did. It's over here. Uh, so you guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for the chaos Aww. of Everett and the dogs and all that stuff. Yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing day and amazing mm -hmm. week. And I will be back here on Saturday with some DIYs. Bye. Do you want to say bye?